Okay, this used to be storage, but now Karen came back and and so she's there and you can see her old tent is absolutely ruined from the hurricane. And so I had to move my clothes. Over here, didn't even have a tarp before. This tarp leaks bad. So I moved it here, and there's my kitchen. I have a stove, and I have a table over here to wash dishes. You see a little cooler there. Some people see homeless people, they think they're bums, they think they're no good. I'm out here with you guys, and I know different. Everybody got a story, and everybody got a heart and a soul. What do you want somebody to know about you? I was in a trailer, we were doing good. I quit my job because my husband, the one I just lost. Yeah, I remember. Second. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> um, him. He wasn't able to move around. His brain wasn't wasn't doing so good. He was supposed to live four more years with his sclerosis liver. But he got jaundice. And uh, a month later, after we moved here, his brother's terrible pain. I, I clean out his tent. There's three meals that he hadn't eaten. Like he's not the same person since he had the stroke. Yeah. Just let him go. So he's dead. So it's just circumstances, health that got you to this. If somebody said I can do something for you to get you out of this right now, what would it be? A job. When we get the shower unit, what would that really mean to you? It was wash your hair. You know how dirty your hair look? Well, how dirty do you think the rest of your body is? You have a wash. I mean. That is true. <laughs> It mean a lot to know you can go somewhere and you can take a shower and it can come. And warm water, not cold? Yeah, no, it will be warm water, Mom. See? I don't be Everything is water. cold. Everything. <laughs> you have to be clean to get a job. You have to have clothes. So all of that comes in one package. Uh-huh. So and you can't go stinking because you haven't had a shower. I'm